Hi, I'm Cindy Lance and welcome to Michigan Geography. Today, we are going to be exploring our backyards. Here in Heartland, Michigan, we know there are creatures surrounding us all the time. I have my camera here. I'll be taking some photos along the way to get some good shots. I also have my boats here because we are prepared for anything out there. Mud, rain, blood, sweat, and tears. We will prevail. First, we will be adventuring into the woods you can see behind me and we will be finding all the creatures squirrels chipmunks turtles there even is a land mass around here with water in it we will look closely to see in this summer weather and climate if there's any good animals to really understand our perspectives let's get on with it is this on hello all right, hey. Now, before we go out, we have to put on bug spray. Now, with all the critters out here, we know we're gonna get stung. So, once we've done that, we've got a beautiful morning out here. Bright lights, great for all the animals ready to come out in the morning. So let's start looking for all some. All right, now that we're in this thick wood path, we have to be careful and watch out for predators. As we're looking around, there may be some animals that get a little too close for comfort. When that happens, be careful, have a guardian by you, and make sure you stay safe. Also, when taking photos, as I'm going to do for you, we have to make sure this predator cannot hurt us, such as snakes. Snakes are not good. I don't like snakes. So, with these snakes, we have to be careful as we approach them. We may not find any today, but I know for a fact. Right there, there's a squirrel. Come on. Squirrels are actually born blind, and there are 280 species of squirrels. Chipmunks are actually a type of squirrel that are smaller and have stripes. I said before, there are quite a few chipmunks out here. Can you see him on the log? Oh, there he runs off now. They're quite kind as well, and they will mind your personal space. Animal right there, and I don't know. Oh, did you see it? There he is. There's a few chipmunks back there. Do you see him right there? Oh, there he is again. Well, anyway. Oh, look at his little head popping out. Hello. Hello. I like chipmunks very much. They're definitely one of my favorites. Hi, hon. Oh, that must be where he lives at. Squirrels and chipmunks tend to live inside trees. They find that very comfortable. Now that we've got to the denser part of the woods, we have to make sure to watch each step we take because I don't like snakes. Back to this area. Around here, as you can hear, lots of birds going on. Some of the most common birds though include robins, cardinals, and red-winged blackbirds. They are most commonly found in our backyards every day. Robins have about 2,900 feathers. Male robins are the one you always hear talking. Only the male robin sings the true robin song, and it just goes like this. Cheer up, cheery, cheer up, cheery, cheerily. That's what it sounds like when he's chirping. Here's something else good to know. You need to know what your animals... <laughs> what your animals enjoy. For example, here we have some basic white blossoms. These actually give up a pungent smell. What the? <laughs> that attract bees. Now, bees on the other hand can also be scary, just like snakes, but they are one of the most important parts of our economy. 
Now, bees may also be scary just like snakes, but they are super important to our environment. Bees, known for the role in pollination, and in this case, best known bee species, the western honeybee for producing honey. As we're also looking, make sure to look closely for insects. Right there, we can see a royal dragonfly in our midst. There he goes. So also some moths and butterflies around. When doing this, make sure to watch for your surroundings because you'll never know what you find. Dragonflies have been around for 30 million years. And there's a saying, if a dragonfly lands on your head, it is considered good luck. Moths actually outnumber butterflies by a ratio of nine to one. Most moths are actually also nocturnal. Ah, here we are. Can you hear it? We're at the pond and look what we have today. Geese, there's a crane over there flying now. Look at all these, there's a bunch of them. There's a few ducks back there. They're really beautiful. Geese are highly social animals and if raised around other livestock and ghosts, they also get along quite well. Goose is actually a term for female geese. Male geese are called ganders. A group of geese in water is called a gaggle. Now, something to think about when walking out is how, again, to protect yourself. Geese are very territorial, so I'm going to definitely keep my distance, but I'll get a few photos for you and show you. We can see they lost, they lost a few of their feathers. It doesn't hurt them at all. It's just like shedding, just like our hair falls out when we take a shower or a bath. This could actually be really cool. This can go as a decoration, or maybe even turn it into some sort of quill pen. A super fun thing about going to the pond is there's so many animals around here. I, as we can see already, have a few dragonflies swimming around, but I most commonly see turtles around. With these nice temperatures, there's also a bunch of birds. As we can see there, there's a robin just standing out. He's quite comfortable in this spot, but in a few moments he will fly away. See? That was actually quite close. Now, as you can see, do you see those little black things in the water right there? That right there. That's actually a turtle head. In a moment, when I move closer, he will pop under because he doesn't like being too close to humans. Turtle shells is a mortified rib cage. Turtles are very adaptive and can be found in every continent except Antarctica. Here we see there's a common painted turtle with these sharp claws. Another great thing about nature is the fun you can get out of it. While learning, you can still play games. This is actually used to be a dandelion. Now, now that the dandelion has outgrown itself, you can see all of the seeds coming out of it. That's when we play a little game. You take it, make a wish in your head and blow. And what it said is that this wish is supposed to be connected to every little drop. So one of these little seeds will plant and be born and that will be your wish being born. I wish for more animals. Just like that. Now, one of my favorite hobbies along with watching animals is taking pictures of them. All the pictures I put upon the screen and will soon include pictures I've taken of just things in my backyard. That's what's so inspiring about our backyard. You can find anything out here, anything. While being outside, make sure to be respectful of other people's property. This is an old trail in the area I live in. So I'm able to go here without being other people's land. It's really important not to go onto other people's land. One, out of respect, and two, out of you don't know what's there, or maybe what has been treated to the land and what could affect you. Mm -hmm.